Oh, the light. So let's recover uh, and continue what we left before the test. Binary search. Yes. This problem we, we did in 2250. So when I, I remember when I taught 2250, I talk about that, this binary search, very famous. But we didn't do analysis. 2250, we, usually we do not do analysis. Yeah. So let's do that part. Yeah. The analysis part, so we need to do some work. Yeah. Binary search. <clears throat> All right. The problem, search an ordered array. So the last time when we, we did a search, we searched an unordered array. So this time, our data has structure. This ordered, this is the structure of our data. So we should take advantage of this structure, property, to make our search algorithm faster. That's the main idea. Okay. Divide and conquer, yeah. because this chapter, this lecture, we mainly we use a divide and conquer approach. So now let's work on the, you know, try to use divide and conquer to solve this problem. Okay. All right, so the problem like this. Yeah. Very simple, right? Yeah. So the problem is how do we divide the problem? The original problem, the size is n. We want to split the problem into smaller subproblems. Then conquer, conquer some of the subproblems. That simple. Okay. All right. Reducing the problem size. The question is how to reduce. What is the appropriate problem size you want to choose? That's the main issue. Okay. So we need to, you know, do some detailed analysis here. Take advantage of ordered data property. So don't forget this. This is the most important property in this problem. Okay. All right. Think about this. What can this property give us? Ordered data problem. Ordered. What can this property give us? Yeah, you can break it the problem size in half by looking at the median. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because you know you know how to how to split. Yeah. So the idea is like that. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. So when I call the attendance, yeah, I miss you, but yeah, I will. Okay. All right, so, you, but here, let's complete the whole story. So try to, you know, try to do the th complete thinking. All right. So here, the main information that this property can give us, we can make prediction. Ordered data can help us do prediction. That's important. Unordered data, we cannot do prediction. Okay? So why the ordered data can help us do prediction? That's the you know, biggest gain we have from this structure. Okay? All right. Explore the ordering property, doing prediction. So what kind of prediction? Every time when you do one comparison, Based on the result of your comparison, you can make some prediction, reasonable prediction. That's what we can get. But for unordered, you cannot make any prediction. Okay. All right, so now let's start to do our first comparison. Okay. Which element should we use to make our first comparison? We have many choices. 
We have a lot of freedom to choose which one to make, to, do we use to make our first comparison. Do you think the last one, the first one, or somewhere in the middle? The middle. The middle. Good. Yeah. So, but can you explain? Yeah, because most of you know, 90% of you know, you know, how do we do the binary search, right? But I want you to give me the ex reasonable explanation why we compare the element in the middle, it will give us the best we can get. If, you, if it is the middle one by chance, you're done. But if, it's, mm -hmm. if the key is greater than that value, yeah. then you've reduced the problem size by half because you only got to yes. search the top part and vice versa. If it's yeah. lower, you only search the bottom part. Yes. Yeah. That's so great. That until it gets small enough. That's great. Yeah. That's all right. So. Several things. Actually, in his description, there are several things, several important things we can use. Yeah. The first, compared to one in the middle, it can give us the best of overall performance. I will explain that later. Yeah. Because this little thing, although you feel natural, but there is an important principle behind it we can learn. So after we learn this principle, we can use it in many different places. That's the value of it. Not just solving one binary search problem. Large class of problems, we can use the same principle to solve. That's why it has big value. Yeah. So I will explain that later, why we compare the one in the middle. Second, he said, every time we can reduce the problem size by half, that's another big gain for us. Why we can reduce the problem size? If it's, yeah, he told me if equal, yeah, that's, fine. that's the easiest, best case. Greater than, then we know the key must be in the right subarray. That's your prediction, right? That's our prediction. Why we can say that? We use the order information, prediction. That's the reason. Now I want to come back to look at why we should compare the one in the middle that can give us the best overall performance. So here, let's look at one extreme case. The, this is the, so the best case, oh, so here, let's think about this. When we compare V with this element, what is the best case? V equals that. Yeah, that's the best case. But can we expect that happen? No. Yeah, so you know, we cannot expect that happen. Because the probability that the best case can happen is very small. So we cannot rely on that. Okay. Most likely, the key will fall into this big subarray. That means if you do here, do the first comparison here, you only reduce the problem size by one. That's not good. One comparison, you can only reduce the problem size by one. You are going too slow. Too slow. Okay? Yeah. We want to go faster. Than that, yeah. So, for, so, so here you can see when you make a choice, usually you have two possibilities. Here you have two possibilities, right? This one or not that that two possibilities. When you have two possibilities, which one you should consider? Which possibility you should consider? The worst one or or the better one? The worst one or the better one? Yeah, there is one worse, another slightly better. So when you have two choices, which one you should, you know, put your attention on? Worst one, right? Not the better one, right? Yeah. So here, we 
So this is the worst. Definitely, this is a, this is a big worst case. Okay? Better case, worst case. So we should focus on the worst case. Your worst case, the size is still very big. That means your selection is not good. This gives us a general conclusion. We can get a general conclusion from it. Yeah? Because when we solve a general problem, many times we need to make selections. When you have freedom to make selections, you have several cases. Then you need to focus on which case. Which of the cases? That, that decision is very important. Okay. All right. So. All right. So now, still, oh, let's look at elimination. Right? Elimination. Reduce the problem size, but at the same time, we do elimination. Okay. Our goal is we want to eliminate maximum number of elements for each comparison. So this is another view to look at the problem. We want to maximize the number of elimination. Okay. Yeah, still this diagram, we try to maximize number of elements for every comparison. So here, I may like to use, refer to this Murphy's Law. So you heard of that, right? Murphy's Law. Yeah. So, right, right, right. So in our real life, you know, we have best case, worst case. So many things could happen, right? But usually you will find the case that you, you don't like usually happen. Okay? So you may have that kind of experience. Although it's not a, a rigorous principle, yeah, but just the people based on the psychology. So I think this Murphy's Law mainly based on the psychology, okay? So, yeah. For example, sometimes I forgot to bring my power adapter. Yeah, but suddenly, I, you know, I couldn't find, you know, that worst case happened. Okay. So I only forgot that once. The whole semester I only forgot it once. But that time I need to use it. Okay. Because right now I don't need to use my power adapter, right? Right now because this battery has, you know. Five hours, so usually I charge it full charge, so I do not need to. Most of the time, I do not need to use my power. One day, I forgot to bring my power adapter. Then suddenly, I need to teach a class. The battery already ten percent. That I I only forgot once, but ten percent. I have to use it. So things like this, people call it Murphy's law. Okay. So something here, we can relate it to that Murphy's law. If you make comparison here, so the Murphy's law usually will make the wor worst case happen, not make the better case happen. <laughs> will make worst case happen. So, so you should always consider the worst case, not the better case. So here, now based on that observation, our real life experience, that's our real life experience. Now we choose the one right in the middle. Because both cases are equally good. Okay? The left case, right case, equally good. So by Murphy's law, you know, which one you to choose, there is no difference. Okay? So that's why that is the bad best choice for us. Okay? Another, another idea, another thinking idea here I want to introduce to you uh, also a very useful thinking idea. It's called adversary argument. Adversary. Okay? So I, want, I really want to introduce this adversary argument. Yeah. This is some advanced thinking. All right. When we make choices solving a particular computing problem, 
We need to make decisions. We have many decisions. Which decision should we choose to get best overall performance? Okay. Now, this adversary, we create an adversary to tell us which choice is the best. What is the adversary? The, the adversary's role to make our life harder, right? Adver that, that, that's the you know, typical job of adversary. Make our life harder. Okay? So we create that adversary. The adversary is very smart. If the adversary is very stupid, so then we can easily beat the adversary, right? But that adversary is really smart. So they can, you know, fight very hard against us. Always make our choices the worst. That's the adversary's job. Okay? All right. Now let's make decision. Okay? When we make comparisons here, okay? Because after this comparison, you split this array into two subarrays, one larger, one smaller. Now we ask the adversary, in which subarray you want to put, put the key in? The adversary definitely will tell us it will put the key in a larger subarray, right? Because it will give us, you know, make our life harder. So put the key in the larger subarray, make you do more work. Okay? So that's the role of the ad adversary. All right, so we take that, but now we want to beat the adversary, right? So we know the adversary has that really you know, scale to make our life harder. So we want to beat the adversary. So we select the point right in the middle and split the array. Two subarrays with equal size. Then we ask adversary, so which one you want the key in? No matter which subarray the adversary chooses, no difference. Same performance, okay? So that argument we call adversary argument, okay? So if you use that thinking idea, so many times you can get the best solution, yeah? Because if you always be the adversary, always be the adversary, at the end, you get the best perf performance. You get the best algorithm. That simple, okay? So here, we be the adversary. We choose the point right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So that's the median. Okay. So, all right. Every time you can throw away one half of the elements, elimination. Okay. Yeah. Guaranteed. It is guaranteed. One half. Okay. Yeah. All right. And we summarize this whole decision making procedure. Yeah. We made some big decision, right? Whole decision making procedure, we summarize it as a balancing principle. When we split array into two balanced, because if we do not choose the comparison point in the middle, anywhere else, we won't get balanced split, right? This also tells us, when you need to make decisions, always try to make the decision that is the most balanced split. Most balanced split usually gives us the best overall performance. Another observation, balancing principle. Okay? Yeah? Yeah? So here you can see what we can learn. Not just a simple binary search. Okay. We run this kind of general thinking analysis approach. Okay? All right.